Welcome, I am Jonathan, aka The Appliance Dude, coming at you from the new Curdos, the new Curdos in Westchester County, Westchester County's largest appliance playground. Yes, I'm not mincing words there, folks. You will not find a larger display selection of appliances in Westchester, the Bronx, or Manhattan. That's a personal guarantee. And this is the only phase one. The phase one relaunch is complete. Phase two will begin sometime in the near future. I'm gonna take the relaunch of the appliance dude, the revamped appliance dude, the relaunch store, and kind of tie it into another relaunch that's happening, and that is the new DCS range. The relaunch of the venerable DCS range was one of the first pro ranges when it came back, back back in the, what is it, the early 90s, I guess. Of course, DCS, if you don't know, created by uh, Appliance Hall of Famer, gas engineer extraordinaire, Serge Kalsi, the man who currently, um, he's the owner, founder of Capital, Capital Ranges. Um, he founded DCS way back in the day. He was instrumental in the first Viking range built for Fred Carl. He had some involvement, I believe, with Lynx as well. But Sergit is a man who um, I've had the pleasure of breaking bread with. And he is, a, you know, when, when he has had his hand involved with something, you know the shit play, it, it is real, okay? And DCS, which he still, you know, he holds it very dear, near and dear to his heart still, even though he sold the company over 10, 10 15 years ago. Um, DCS was regarded as like the performance focused range back in let's say the 90s and the early aughts. Um, it changed hands a few times though and um, it's funny how when you see the classic DCS ranges and how they kind of change, you know, they kind of, the look changed over the years then when Capital came out and started to uh, garner a lot of attention, you'll notice the Capital ranges are actually very similar to the classic DCS range. And it was funny, I was at my guitar teacher's house the other night and he asked me to come in the kitchen and go take a look at the range, there was some issue. And I said, oh my God, you have a DCS range circa you know, 2003, 2002? And it looked just like a, pretty much like a current capital. Um, so the thing is, the reason I'm bringing all this up, retro DCS stuff, is that they had a certain look, they had the uh, performance, the, um, the product changed hands over the years, and about four years ago, three to four years ago, they relaunched the range with a completely different look, a very polarizing look. Um, our experience with it was with the, a different handle and a different grill on the bottom was very negative. I didn't do much business with it. I had some folks who came in, a brief, a small, small smattering, and they were just like, oh my God, this thing is gorgeous, we love it. Not much of that though. Very, very, very skewed, heavily negative, okay, towards this new look. I started to hear whispers about a year ago that there was a potential redesign in place, and I'm happy to announce that not only has the redesign been complete, the new product is about to roll out. Now what they did is, I don't want to confuse anybody out here, um, the DCS range as we know it has not changed from a functional standpoint. So what you will see is it still has, I think it's 17,500 BTU burners or 18.5, I don't recall off the top of my head. Still have that fantastic simmer down 140 degrees. Um, you're still going to get your infrared broiler which is I think rated at 19,500 BTUs. You're gonna get multiple rolling racks, uh, pull out racks in the oven. Uh, your bead blasted top, which some people was, weren't so fond of the look of that, but it makes cleanup very, very simple. Um, but uh, from, so from a functional standpoint, the range has not changed. So here's the deal. Now for those who want the current iteration of DCS, or, the, or I should say the iteration that we've seen for the last four years, that is still going to be av uh, available, and that's going to be the, uh, uh, the, the squared handle, so to speak. And I think it's actually called a, a G-series or something like that. The new range that's rolling out is called a V-series. That is going to offer a rounded handle, so now it really looks like the rest of the range is out there as far as the handle is concerned in the pro category. And the grill is actually now capped off on the ends. The, uh, the older grill was just kind of like... It wasn't framed, it just didn't look right. So, and they also do offer an option to have it just flat stainless on the bottom as far, you know, for the kick plate. So.
What they've done also is they've changed the handles, they're giving you the option to change the handles on the dishwasher, on the refrigerator, on the wall oven. So now you're probably going to see an uptick in entire DCS kitchens being sold as a package because I found that a lot of people, if you thought that the squared handle on the range looked bad, it really was just like, whoa, too much to digest on the refrigerator because the handles are so much larger. Um, so I am actually foreseeing a, a, a big uptick in DCS packages being sold as opposed to the way that we normally sell DCS, which would be DCS coming in to the package as the cooking element with a you know a 36 inch range and then selling it with a Sub-Zero or with a Liber refrigerator or you know whatever else, a Bosch dishwasher, blah, 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 blah. I think this really comes down to, this is a warm welcome back for DCS because I just feel they've kind of been lost over the last couple of years. Like they didn't, they did not maintain the traction that they had in the 90s and in the early 2000s. And I think they're going to see them become a leader again. I mean, let's face it, I think Capital's stolen a lot of their thunder. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, Blue Star, I mean, Capital and Blue Star are kind of different animals because it's the open burner par you know, uh, paradigm. But I think you're going to see DCS really step up now. You know, of course, they're featured on Cooks County, America's Test Kitchen. So, um, they're battle tested the product. Um, certainly, you know, we sold a decent amount even with that, that handle, which, you know, the ugly ass handle as I call it. And people were happy. I mean, you know, a few issues here or there, but um, I welcome them back with a deep, big, warm embrace. So, a big, big congratulations to DCS on the relaunch of their new product. Um, and we here at Curdo's, as we relaunch ourselves into the stratosphere, um, are looking forward to partnering you and making big, big smiles on consumers' faces when we land these products in their kitchens. Any questions, you know where to hit me. Thank you.